This way. Excalibur Poker Room is here. Can we help you? Is that Excalibur Poker Room? Yes, it is. Awesome. Uh, can you put Kevin and Philip on the one two waiting list? You got it. Thank you very much. All right. So, I'm done here at the Excalibur. Um, there's actually not really uh, something, hands that I can tell you, but uh, there's one hand that I played and uh, that might be um, interesting, the only one. So um, there is an early, uh, an early position raiser to seven dollars. I know seven dollars. I should not be in a game, there, in a one-two game that is the normal raise is seven bucks. I know it. I shouldn't. I shouldn't even sit here. But <laughs> anyway, so um, it was all for the lucky charm, and so I played my two hours. Anyway, so. Um, yeah, early limper to seven dollars. I sit in middle position and I look down at Queen of Diamond and Queen of Hearts, and I make it twenty-one to go. I'm assuming a fold from everybody <laughs> because twenty-one was not a normal re-raise on this table. I haven't seen a pot that's over thirty bucks in the whole time I was sitting on the table. So I made it twenty-one dollars. And uh, everybody fold except uh, um, the early position. He calls the twenty-four dollars, uh, twenty-one dollars. The flop is jack of spades, nine of diamonds, and the six of hearts. Um, he checked to me, and I bet exactly twenty-one dollars again. Um, I have no history with that guy. Um, I never saw him before. Uh, I just table changed, so there was a new table for me. I was sitting there about fifteen minutes. Now he checked raise to $51. I have a really strange feeling that that guy has pocket jacks and he flopped the set of jacks. That was my feeling. I didn't even think about the pocket nines or pocket sixes. I thought <coughs> for sure that guy have to have pocket jacks. Um, but I was not ready to fold yet, so I made the call. 30 bucks more, so I called. Uh, turn is the three of diamonds. Now he leads out for seventy dollars, um, and he has about fifty behind. Um, at that point, I was not sure about pocket jacks, but I thought, okay, he might have pocket kings also. <laughs> that beat, that beats me also. Um, yeah, so I go in the tank, and I'm thinking, I'm thinking, and I look at him, and he looked really, really comfortable. And I know I'm fucking behind, but still, I can't fold. It's a one-two game, and I don't know that player, and he might play, I don't know. I, got, I was only thinking about pocket jacks and pocket kings, and at that point, especially because he bet $70 and he has only 50 behind, I only, there's only two ways. I fold or I push all in, okay? But I didn't want to push all in. I was thinking to fold, but I didn't. <laughs> I made the call. So I just called because uh, on the river when he bets, I, uh, he has to show first <laughs> and I don't want to show my pocket greens. But before I made the call, I told him what I normally don't do. I, n I never tell the, the, the player that I'm behind. So I said, I have a really strange feeling. I, there was uh, nobody else in the hand, so I, could, I can talk about the hand. So I said, 
you have pocket jacks or you have pocket kings. And I said, I'm, I'm behind. So now, <laughs> I make the call. And the river brings, bingo, the queen of clubs. <laughs> so, he shoves all in the last 50 bucks and I call with the words, sorry, now I have you beat. Uh, and I, I showed right away, I flipped over my hand and I showed the pocket greens and he looked at me and he said, yeah, you were right. He, he took it like a man. So instead of mucking his hand, he said, I'm gonna show you, you were right. You were the whole time you were behind. And now he turns around, pocket aces. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> I did not expect pocket aces there. Our, even the kings were a little bit suspicious, but uh, pocket checks was, was the hand that I put him on. So yeah, I was the whole time behind, I knew it and I could not fold. I could not fold. Call me a fish, it doesn't matter. I could not fold, I made the call and I got lucky and I won the pot. But the good thing is, he was a good sport, so um, he wasn't mad that I took all his chips and uh, oh they had a promotion so Ace is correct here at Excalibur you can spin the wheel uh, the big wheel and um, yeah after spinning the big wheel uh, he won $50 back so at least he got some money back <laughs> the river bet yeah I lost some of the money after that hand uh, with a um, queen and jack of diamonds and I turned the flush and the other guy turned the flush also with king five of diamonds um, so a little bit of that money goes into I'm, I'm not um, I was not putting I, I, I just called him down because I had again that strange feeling that he had me beat and I didn't want to uh, bet too much so I was riding that way but I still lost some money in that part yeah so ended up the session with let me see. It was a winning session and I won $69. And everybody loved my uh, little jalapeno. A really nice card protector, everybody loved it. Um, yeah, worth $69. Not the top of the, of the ranking right now, but still, it's a winning session. I'm leaving the Excalibur. <laughs> yeah, the Excalibur. Good night. So, at the MGM. <laughs> yeah, so far, all the poker rooms that I saw that were where I played today, the games were not good. Not good at all. And it's a Friday night. Hmm. I guess we were out too early. Starting at 6 p.m. might be not the best choice. I don't know. Maybe I just picked the wrong poker rooms tonight. But it could change here at the MGM. La la la.
Right. Hey, what's up? What's up, man? Okay, I only played one hour here and there's one word to say, um, boring. Okay, legend, your skull still has one hour left here at the MGM. I'm gonna play here the next time, uh, probably tomorrow for, for one hour. Um, about the game, there is only one, one word to say also, and that is cut that. <laughs> As you saw, there was a lot of money on the 1-2 game, but I did not get anything. And when I got something, the flop was totally bullshit for my hand. So um, I lost in that one hour $59. That was only calling money. <laughs> call, call the flop, uh, call, the, call before the flop, and muck on the flop. So maybe uh, the next hour is going to be better. That's going to be tomorrow then. And that's going to be it for tonight. Good night.